Hello and uh, welcome to one of my newest videos. Um, it's October for the October section. Well, uh, in this video, I'm gonna try to explain how to uh, extract a SIM card reader uh, from a Q10 and Z10. I think they're the same. Um, sorry about the mess. Um, well, actually, uh, to take out the SIM card reader you need to unweld a few points here, here and here well, this was done by another uh, repairman uh, I just, just, uh, just, this went apart when I uh, took it up, uh, apart um, so, the SIM card reader so, but it's actually good because it shows uh, that SIM card reader is actually two uh, components. One is, I have a new one here that I bought to exchange, so one is this um, thing and, and the other is the cap, the cap that goes on top. When it's new it's just uh, four clips, okay, you just unclip it and it comes off and this is how you weld it actually. So you put this part, you weld it, the, uh, there are eight uh, uh, welding points and then you clip this and then you weld this uh, well I think there are about four or five uh, no six um, points to weld yes six three on this side and three on this side uh, on the motherboard I will have trouble doing that because on this um, there's, um, they went the hooking uh, the um, sorry the welding points are gone I hope you see oops I was off camera so the the welding points are gone so anyway, um, it's so the idea is that you take this off, the cap off. Um, um, the best way is probably to dremel it. You just cut here and here, and then uh, un unhook those. Uh, this solder, this solder, uh, them, and uh, and then basically after that you put a little bit of heat here, and uh, maybe flux on the welding points and heat up and then this will come right off come on. to put it to put the other side you have to uh, to put the new component you have to clean uh, around the, the welding points um, with uh, I don't know usually there's a um, copper um, I use this is a copper uh, the, frame like that and then you heat it up and then it will uh, just take all the solder the old solder and then you put the new one so you know you're ready for a clean uh, clean connection but anyways um, this is how you do it this is uh, as far as I see that's the best uh, solution I mean uh, a lot of people they get get uncomfortable because when they open this up um, they see this they see this, so it's, it's, sorry, I'm just trying to, they see this, well, it's, you know, it's hooked. So, and they don't know how to act, and and, and then it's obviously, if you heat it up, uh, the, the heat will dissipate, so you'll have to put a lot of heat, and then the components will disorder on the other side, so that's not the way to go. The way to go is, well, not in my case, but in, in a, you know, in a, a normal case, you just cut here with a Dremel, and then try to deslaughter one by one. There are two um, uh, sold, uh, to this, uh, points to deslaughter, and then the other side. And then you take this off, okay? And then probably break the plastic as much as you can uh, here, and then hit this section, and then this will come right off, mm, okay? And then we put it. When you put it back, you just go. Um, only with the soldering iron, no heat gun, no nothing. You place this on top of the soldering point, and then through this, you have enough space to kind of um, solder e um, each and every uh, pin in place. And then you clip the the cap, the new cap on. You clip it on, and then uh, in my case here, I will put uh, epoxy. Uh, to hold it in place because it will never solder back in. Here I have uh, the chance that this didn't rip off, so that's okay because that's the main um, points of strength. 
and then uh, the other ones, you know, epoxy will be good enough. Okay, so that's what how I would uh, do this. Um, hopefully, this is uh, helpful for you, and uh, hopefully, I, you know, you got uh, some clues. Me, I'm preparing this to to just dissolve the dissolve the the old thing and then put the new thing back in. So that's gonna be it for this uh, device because I mean this is like I don't know in, in, in Europe it's 500 euros maybe more uh, so it's really worth uh, saving uh, you know even the client if the client is gonna pay I don't know 100 euros is still uh, still uh, still good okay uh, next time around I will try to speak about the keyboard of the let me see if we have time okay of uh, the 9900 and the issues uh, of this keyboard because it has a lot of issues uh, it's a good um, key, uh, model but keyboard is a mess okay I'll tell you all about it if you can subscribe to my channel and uh, you know give the thumb